and Mrs. Bueller's first breed is the Afghan Hound. The Afghan has been a recognizable breed since approximately 4000 BC. Over the centuries, this breed traveled across Arabia and Persia and settled in northern Afghanistan, hence its name today. They appeared in America after World War I and have been popular ever since. Thank you. See the flag, see the mark on the floor. <laughs> Afghan Hound. Thank you, right around. Saluki. The Saluki is another ancient sighthound from Asia proper. It very well may trace back 7,000 years ago. He was used as a coursing hound in pursuit of gazelle. Folks, the Saluki is extremely intelligent and is one of the fastest of all the dogs. Thank you. Down and back to that mark. Saluki. Thank you, right around. The Ozawak. The Ozawak is the only breed, folks, that is taller than he is long. This is an intelligent sighthound from West Africa and can survive scorching temperatures in the Sahara Desert. They are bred to guard his master's house and to be a good hunter of small game, as well as large gazelle. Thank you. Thank you. Down to Mark and back. The Ozawak. Thank you, right around to the end. Ibethan Hound. The Ibethan Hound traces back to ancient Egypt at least 3,600 years. This is a very athletic breed. They reportedly can jump as high as six feet straight up in the air from a standing position. Thank you. To the mark and back. I beat the now. Thank you. Right around to the end. The Pharaoh Hound. The Pharaoh Hound is indeed one of the Seven. oldest of all the breeds, dating back to Egypt at least 7,000 years ago. The one you are looking at right now is very much like those depicted in the Egyptian tombs. Thank you. It's Mark and Beth. Pharaoh Hound.
Thank you, right around to the end. We told them, but they weren't ready. Geneco del Etna. This breed has its origins back to Sicily. They are hunters of small game and are independent thinkers. By the way, they're great in agility, coursing, and tracking. the spot and back. Cherneka del Etna. Thank you. Take him right around. The Greyhound almost certainly originated in Egypt, where he has existed in virtually his present form since the time of Christ. This is the fastest of all dogs, folks, once used on leopard and gazelle. This is a very gentle breed, accommodating and ever so elegant. Show me your mouth. Thank you. Down to the mark and back. Greyhound. Thank you, right around. We need the ramp back. The ramp. They're getting it. I have to have the ramp. Oh, you, well, I suppose I could do them on the ground. No, it's just, yeah, you probably could do them on the ground, but we'll do them on the ramp. Well, they're bringing it out. I think, I don't, I don't know if it's required. If it's I, optional, then they don't bring it out, but. Um, you know, I couldn't even tell you if it's optional anymore because they moved them off the table onto the ramp. Oh, okay. Well, so anyway, we'll the ramp it. is here now. So we'll use it. I have been able to do you well, on the ground. Whippet, I'm not going to bother. The Whippet looks like huh? the Greyhound in miniature, and indeed the two breeds have many things in common, the speed dogs. being We'd one of them. For over a century, the Whippet was used as a rabbit courser in England. And by the way, he can hit a stride of 35 miles an hour. The Whippet looks fragile indeed, but he, and he does mind the cold, but this dog's power and acceleration are breathtaking. Thank you, right around to the end.
Borzoi. This is a sighthound, a courser of immense strength and stamina. He was developed in Russia in the 17th century. They were used on wolves, essentially, and are very hard-working field dogs in some of the toughest hunting known. Thank you, right around. The Scottish Deerhound. The Scottish Deerhound is the royal dog of Scotland and was an ancient hunter of deer as his name implies. A true greyhound type dog, the Scottish Deerhound is fast and relentless on the trail. He will put himself against anything that will run, by the way. Thank you, right around. Good man. The Irish Wolfhound, this giant hound, tallest of all the dogs, is heir to another super superlative. He is the oldest of all the known wolf hunters. In Ireland, when wolves preyed upon sheep and cattle, this was their protector. In 1862, a British army officer bred a few rare specimens, and this gentle giant was brought back from the very brink of extinction. Thank you. Down to the spot in back. <laughs> Irish Wolfhound. Thank you, right around. Beagles. The beagles come in two varieties, those under 13 inch and those over 13, but not more than 15 inches, otherwise the standards are identical. The beagle is one of the most popular ball hounds in America, and although an outstanding scent hound in the field, he's also a first-rate companion. <laughs> Thank you. Down to the spot. This, by the way, is 15 inch beagle, the tall one. Thank you, right around.
Thank you. Thank you. Down and back. Thank you, right around. The Rhodesian Ridgeback. The Rhodesian Ridgeback is indeed named after his place of origin, Rhodesia, and for the cowlick of hair, a reverse streak that runs along his spine. Folks, they are the Navy SEALs of the dog world. Athletic, strong, and intelligent, and it is true that they used to hunt down lions. Thank you. Down and back. Rhodesian Ridgeback. Thank you, right around to the end. The Basenji. This little hound is known as the Barkless Dog. The breed originated in Africa, and we know that he was a hunting dog in Egypt and the Congo. He was unknown in England until about 1937, and four years after that, he came to America. He is fastidiously clean and washes himself rather like a Thank cat you. does. Down to the spot and back. To the spot. The Senji. Thank you, right around to the end. The Portuguese Bodengo Piquinho is used to hunt rabbits in their native Portugal. This little sight hound will stand on their hind legs in search of their prey. They are energetic and friendly, but a word of caution, they will chase anything that moves, including your neighbor's cat. Thank you. Down to the circle and back. Portuguese Potengo Picanho. Thank you, right around. <laughs> the Blue Tech Coonhound. The Blue Tech Coonhound is athletic, compact, speedy, and very well muscled, as you can see. Its distinctive bugle voice alerts his master to the game that he's successfully tracked. Thank you. Down to the circle and back. Blue tick, Kunhan.
Thank you, right around. Thank you, right around. <laughs> the Tree Walker Coon Hound. The Tree Walker is a trailing hound with an instinct to tree raccoons. He is swift, nimble, and has limitless endurance. They love night hunts and are exceptionally vocal, allowing hunters to hear them from a way distance. Thank you. Down to the spot and back. Tree Walker. Thank you. Take them right around. The Plot, a hunting hound of striking color that traditionally brings big game to bay and tree. The Plot's intelligent, alert, and very confident. As you can see, he's also powerful and well-muscled. Down to the spot and back. This is the plot. <laughs> Thank you, right around. The Bloodhound. The Bloodhound is an ancient breed tracking back at least 2,500 years. He's not used for hunting at all, but for finding people. Most runs with Bloodhounds are mercy runs, seeking lost children, hikers, campers, and other confused or frightened people. Show me his mouth. Thank you. Down to the spot and back. The Bloodhound. Thank you, right around. His coat is hard and crisp and waterproof, and it's true he does Thank have wet feet. 
By the way, folks, this is one of the rarest of all the breeds in the world, as there are only fewer than 700 of these beautiful animals in the entire world. Show me his mouth. Thank you. Down to the spot and back. This is the Otter Hound. Thank you. Take them all the way around. The Petit Basset Griffon Vendier. The PBGB, as I we call it, is a hound terrier, large extent terrier demeanor. He is somewhat new here, but has been shown in Canada for several years and is popular in France for many years before that. He is one of 28 hound breeds developed by the French. Thank you. Down and back. Petit Massacre Fond Vendiana. Thank you. Right around, please. And this is the Grand Bassacre Farm in the end. The noble Grand, as he is called, is a rough-coated sundown from Western France. He is not a larger version of the petite that you just saw, because they are both very different, as you can see. They were developed to hunt boar and rode deer over rough terrain. These noble hounds make a wonderful Thank family you. pet. However, they will look to you to be the leader of the pack, or they will be. Grand Basic Reform Vendion. Thank you, right around. This is the Basset Hound. His origin was probably Belgian or French, where Basset simply means low to the ground. The baleful expression and the wonderful personality of this breed makes him sought after as a family dog. Thank you. It's been off over here. Down, down to the circle and back. Take them all the way around, please. The Dachshunds. Tough, solid little dogs, this is the Dachshund. The breed originated in Germany to hunt and kill badger. They are bred with three coat sizes, smooth, wire-haired, and long-haired, miniature and standard. The sizes are not distinguished in the ring, but the coat styles are. Other than size and coat, the standards are identical. This is the smooth option.
Thank you. Right around, please. And this is the long-haired version. Turn it up. Thank you. Come back. Thank you. Right around, please. Thank you. Don this is the wire hair version. Thank you, right around. the Afghan in front of the numbers over there. The Oz walk behind. Farrell. Whip it, Borzoi. And Mrs. Buell is picking her preliminary Asenji. winners. Blue Tick. Otterhound. PBGB. Take this group right around this loop here back to where we are. Number three, Basenji number four. Thank you. Borzoi number three. If you like dogs too, subscribe to NBC Sports YouTube channel for more.